Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Astro Colony, and man, do we have a ton of stuff to do. We've got a ton of stuff to do. Let's, uh, let's, I guess real quick, talk about what's on my mind, what I'm thinking of doing. One, the planet straight ahead, Chevalier there, is mined out. We've got to clear the mining drill that we set down last episode or a couple episodes ago. It's got some ore sitting in it. We need to move that into a smelter, uh, maybe on our main planet, and then clear off all the stuff and jettison that planet. We don't need it anymore, but we want all the stuff that's all our, our building materials we want back. Um, this planet here, Valsari Void, that one's still mining away. I added a, another mining um, building here at the end of the last episode. That's going to be going for quite a while. And then our main planet's got plenty of ore as well. We still have a planet off to the side here that I want to connect to. And then there's a little planetoid up here. I hope. I think that's what that is. I think it's a little one. Um, I have some ideas for that. But uh, we'll get to that. Unless that's a planet. It might be a full-on planet. But as soon as we find a small planetoid, I have an interesting idea for how we might make use of that. Um, but we'll get to that. I want to save that as a surprise. Uh, where we left off last episode, we wanted to finish producing, um, I think it was the graphene. So we've got to route aluminum plates down. Before we do that real quick, though, let's, uh, let's get the ore off of Chevalier here. And let's see, there's copper in here that's being processed. Let's, over here is the big drill. Let's take this stuff out. I think everything else is empty and idle. Not going to clear all this out right this second, but uh, let's throw. You guys already got a lot of copper. We could take half of that copper and maybe see if they'll process that for us. And maybe the rest of the copper we can put down here. One of these guys doing copper? Yeah, let's just throw it on here. These guys are going to be busy for a while anyway. Boom. And then that thing is ready to scavenge. But we'll get to that. I just wanted to get that ore processing. Let's get back to this. We are producing plates. Do we have... Aluminum kicked on here. We don't even have it turned on. Is there aluminum waiting? No. What am I missing? We want aluminum plates. Just these belts are backed up. Take a look and see. Yeah, our aluminum bars are here, and we don't have a way to... Um, until we process the rods... That aluminum doesn't have a chance to merge over to the next belt. So we're going to have to take that on too pretty quick. Hmm. All right. Well, those plates, once they are produced, are going to end up um, in this big warehouse. So let's map out how to get them down to the floor below so we can use those to make the graphene. Okay, and then that'll be aluminum once we, <laughs> once we actually have aluminum being processed through our um advanced constructors here will have aluminum plates we don't have them yet all right this guy we just want to ladder down All right, now we want to connect up to this belt here, which is kind of floating by one. I guess we can keep this floating by one, too. We'll see how this works out for us. You make it. He's got to go down one more. Let's do this direction this time. And then down one. Or this way. Okay, and that'll be aluminum plates coming down from up top. Boom. Uh, going into there and going into there. And we already set this logic block last time, I think. Yeah, 
then we just need outputs and a place to put that output. I'm thinking we could, for the time being, dump the graphene into a warehouse right here. So I'll put belts, see if we can get these placed. It's a little tricky, like I said, when we're upside down like this. And run it right parallel. Somewhere like that. Okay, that's dumping out. That one's dumping out. And we just need a warehouse maybe here. Place it looking good. Uh, that'll do. Switch the inputs around and we'll go right in the middle. Oh man, there's just so much to do. There's so much to do. I want to see this working and we have to process our uranium rods before we do it. But I got some other things I want to do too. <laughs> We're probably not going to get to it this episode. Uh, the thing I was talking about with the planetoid, man, I want to do it. Um, but we'll get to that soon. All right, I think that is it for graphene production. And I'd love to see it in action, but we just can't yet. Next will be um, processing those rods that we're getting, stuff that's on the aluminum belt here. And I know we could probably organize these belts a little different, a little better, but let's stick with what we've got. For now, we've got, what, uranium and titanium rods that we need to process? Let's see what those get turned into. Um, we've got, those are iron rods. Titanium rods need wire, and they get turned into metal frames. In fact, let's see what this display shows us. Used for metal frames. What else? Using the advanced constructor and used, uh, hopefully, just to build the radar. So, I don't know if we need to save these off. I think we can process all of them, right? Creates. Creates. Manufacturer. Thruster. All right. Metal frames. Can we see what those are used for? Metal frames. For fabricators, electric panels, electronic panels. Ooh, electronic panels. I'm guessing that might be one that we're going to need a lot of. Not positive on that. By the robots assembler. Ah, the robots assembler, okay. The advanced manufacturer. So let's try and make metal frames. We're gonna need production of wire. And we're gonna need the titanium rods filtered off. Could we do it down here? Could we do it down here? Just another line. Someone doing wire right? Which would mean just regular wire. So we need plates out of here. These iron plates would have to be routed down. Might be able to do another conveyor ladder right here. Have another one of these kind of interesting production lines. Just thinking it through. Bear with me. What I'm thinking of doing, bring those iron plates down from the ceiling here. Run an elevated input belt all the way down here and then convert to wire. And the wire comes down this way and the titanium rods are maybe up on top. So here's our wire producing building and then here would be our, um, our frame building. Maybe just one. And then belt our output back to this warehouse. Let's try it. Let's try it. Ooh, this warehouse might be right bad spot. 
All right, let's uh, let's start building, and we'll see how this plays out. I know I want a space between these things. Let's see, we we're kind of stuck doing this now, so that we can see the aluminum run. We need to unclog that belt that's got the titanium and the uranium on it. Let's do this guy. This uh, another one. Another one. Okay. This is going to be my input belt. Not sure where it's going to snap in. Uh, and we're going to make iron wire, regular wire. That's this guy, right? Advanced constructor. Nope. Advanced manufacturer makes the wire. Right, advanced manufacturer. Let's get it. Let's link it down. Something like that. That'll do it. That'll do it. Man, tight quarters. Wait a second. That's not our plates. Shoot. Nope, nope, nope. That's... No, that's right. That's our plates coming in. Plates. Plates come into here. This guy produces just regular wire for us. We can turn off the copper wire. Just want regular wire coming in. And this input is not going to get used. I think we're going to go with just one of these right here. We would want a splitter. Really what I'm thinking. You know, I just change you. This would be nothing up the middle. And maybe most of the wire going off to the to the right or making the frames, but then a little bit of the wire coming out and going back into storage. So we have some for other purposes and we just run the belt back this way. Boom. Trying to see where I'm going with this. I just want to hook back up to the path down to the warehouse. Right? So we'll just hop on that same output belt that these guys are using. Plunk and make its way in. So we'll try that and see. I might be missing something. The fact that we can't see it work is a little bit of a drag. We still have to do uranium after this, even, before we can see any of this start to work. All right, wire is going to come this way, and we need to combine it with, um, with the titanium rods. Let's see, where is that? Is that the advanced manufacturer too? Frames? Nope, not here. It's this guy. Advanced constructor. Titanium rods and wire. All right, advanced constructor. We can get one of these placed down in here. Next. Be a different side building. Output can go underneath. That's fine. Input doesn't really matter. I don't like that this is bigger. All right, but we'll solve the problem. Uh, may not be a huge issue. Let's just, uh, we'll go with it. See how it looks. Always change it around later a little bit. Okay, that's our wire going in. Do we have another input? We do. It's back here. And that's going to be our titanium rods. And I guess, hmm. Don't think we're going to be able to fit a third production line here. Let's see. Uh, this would be like uranium. Just wondering if we need to conserve space or not. If we do, I can kind of hug this 
and sneak around. If we don't need to conserve space, I would just take up the room. Let's um look real quick at the uranium processing, what that's going to be. We have that in here. Uranium rods, iron rods. What do we do with uranium rods? Or do they go, are they used as is? Maybe in the nuclear thing? Bear with me here. Uranium rods with wood planks make a polymer. Hmm. That is the advanced manufacturer. Wood planks. Oh man, how am I going to get wood planks? The another manufacturer building. Let's see what's the profile of that guy. Might be able to pull it off. We have one more production line on this panel. It could be a little tight. Uh, and then where's the man? That would be kind of snug, but we can do it. Uh, let's do it. Let's plan for plan for conserving space here. All right. Next, we got to get our titanium, and that's on this belt. It's still going to have, it's still going to have, um, the uranium rods on it. Let's see how we can pull just the titanium off of this thing. Come out straight over all this mess. And can I push off? I want to go down and push off to the side. Do that. I'm going down so this belt we're not using yet, so that this one can just keep traveling wherever it's needed. This may end up being food, this belt, if we end up doing a food production on the planets at some point. So we've got this one extra belt we're kind of saving, this guy here. So I'm just trying to route this belt in a way that's not going to interfere with this guy moving straight on through. So we're going to go down, and then we're going to branch off the, uh, we're going to push off the, the stuff we want, which in this case is the titanium rods. You and right there. I want you to push off. I can't see which one's which, so bear with me. Titanium rod, okay. I like it. This is going to be our guy. Comes back over this way. Let's try, let's try laddering. I'm building these one at a time. I know I can click and drag, but just so I can get things lined up. It's a little tricky building underneath here like this. Um, that one, I think I want to move. See if this looks horrible or not. But it can save us a tiny bit of space. We may be glad to have later. Okay, for now that'll do. While they're on their way here, let's put power down. This is extra. Let's see if those are energized. Okay, yeah, both those machines are getting power. We just need to get, okay, yeah, we're loading up here with our titanium rods, which is what we want. We just need to get iron plates into this machine from this belt from above somehow so let's um can i do a reverse ladder up here uh, looks like they might let me
then I was thinking of actually pulling from down from this, diving underneath, and connecting to that. We could come out the other side too. I was thinking of leaving that just in case we needed it. Try and hop out of here. Uh, let's put our logic block down first. We want filter. Leave, and then this is going to be our iron plates coming out. Pillar doesn't look bad there. All right. There we go. There goes our wire. A little bit, 25% of it's going into storage and the rest is going into here. This guy needs to be configured. Get rid of all this other stuff. Just want no frames. There they go. Oh man. Yeah, that belt weaving is a little tedious. I apologize for that. A little on the slow side. And then our output. Oh, 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 what's going on over here? Can you not? Hmm, is that belt wrong direction? Yep. Okay, there's the wire, and then we're going to route an output belt from this guy. So hard to route the belts. <laughs> Look at that. It just does not know if I can get there. And I'm going to might have to tear up a belt to do this. It just snapping not where I want it to snap. I need to get one level lower. So yeah, let's pull off the band-aid here. Get this done. These guys need to come up to Yes, you can just go straight across. This guy can patch this back up. So we're overburdening the imp the uh, belt going into the warehouse a bit, but uh, I think we'll be okay. It doesn't look like uh, we're going to run into saturation issues anytime soon. How's that look? There goes our frame. Boom. And we got frames and wire. And eventually we'll have the scrapine. <laughs> <laughs> but we have to get the tight. We have to get the uh, uranium off the belt. We'll do that next. Tell you what. Between episodes, I'm going to scrap this whole planetoid. Um, I'm just going to get everything off of it. And then maybe I'll undock from this. And let's see. I think we still, I think we have to do the uranium next just so that we get our manufacturing unclogged, our belts unclogged. We still have those uranium rods clogging up their one of our belts. Everything else I think is moving. In fact, this storage chest is no longer needed. Uh, so we're doing pretty good. Oh man, that one's got a ton of gold and copper to send through. But that is unencumbered. I think we're making plates with all that, right? Yeah, I got a bunch of gold plates, got a bunch of copper plates. Fully automated. But yeah, I'll rip up all, off all of our machinery and platforms off of this planet. I'll undock it, get rid of everything. And then I'm just going to leave it float there. 
next episode, we'll jump in and start um, working on the uranium rods. And once we get that production line finished, we're going to go hook up to this planet. And then we're going to investigate and see if that is a planetoid or if that is a planet straight ahead in my crosshairs. If it's a little tiny planetoid, then I've got big ideas for that. Um, if it's a planet, we'll just have to move on and see if we can't find a planetoid at some point. There's a black hole up there. You know what I thought about doing? I thought we, we could maybe do this next episode. Uh, what would we do? I think we'd die. I was thinking of hooking up rocket engines to one of these planets and a control panel and then flying the planet into um, a black hole. Where is that one? Way far away. But I have a feeling we would be, we'd probably, that would end the game, right? Because we wouldn't have a way back out of that. And I don't know that I could put it on, I could put it on autopilot and fly back myself, but then we got to be pretty close to the black hole. So maybe we'll put that idea on, on ice for now. But yeah, next episode, uranium and hooking up to that planet. For now, this is Gladdercat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this series on Astro Colony. Again, thanks to everybody for the awesome comments and suggestions. Um, we're moving and grooving. There's a lot to do. And like I said, I do have something interesting in mind for what we could do um, with the next little planetoid and this particular planet. So stay tuned for that. And uh, thanks again. I'll see you all in the next episode.